strong feet that do. Alright, uh, just uh, a brand new baby. Replacement. You hear that cheer my replacement. Hello, hello. <laughs> the last them thing, you know. As is now recognized, the results of the general elections held yesterday, September 3rd, have been very unfavorable to the People's National Party. As in all undertakings such as this, the ultimate responsibility must rest with the leader of the party. Accordingly, I consider it my duty to demit office as president of the party. And I have written to the chairman of the People's National Party to ask that the National Executive Council and the executive of the party make the necessary arrangements as soon as is practicable to elect a new leader of the party. I would like to thank all those who voted yesterday for the People's National Party. I would also like to thank all those who worked on the campaign. Many of them, indeed all of them, went way beyond the call of duty to support the People's National Party's efforts in the field. The party has many lessons to learn from the experience. I expect that the executive will shortly establish a review committee to analyze the causes of the defeat and to chart a path for rebuilding. I'd like to say in closing that I have had over these past four decades a tremendous opportunity to serve my country and my party in giving public service. And I relish this and certainly will do all I can to ensure a smooth transition of the leadership of the party and a swift rebuilding of the People's National Party so that it can continue to fulfill its historic mission on behalf of the people of Jamaica. Until a new leader is elected to exercise all the responsibilities that attach to the office of President of the People's National Party, which includes leader of the opposition. I, I would like to point out also, um, just for completeness, that I was in touch with the, with the leader of the Jamaica Labour Party last night um, at approximately 8 o'clock to offer on my own behalf and on behalf of the party, our congratulations to him and his party. Having had the result that the party leader spoke of this morning, as chairman, I have, to, I have to oversee that transitional exercise as the first order of business. I have a responsibility to make sure that the party remains vibrant, the necessary um, um, restructuring, refocusing, etc. that need to be done is put in motion. When that exercise is complete, then I will give consideration to my own role as chairman going forward. Um, when you have dramatic changes like this, in terms of results in the party, the entire leadership of the also question your own tenure. And that also applies to me as chairman. We are in for a rough time, and that's why I think it is so important for us not to, to be involved in our own subjects. Here is an opportunity now for us as our position to reach out to the government and to see how we can the combined effort get our country to overcome this pandemic. We are in a serious, serious situation. We feel nobody should be left behind. We feel a country with 500,000 people living below the poverty line. It's not, it's not working. Um, we campaign hard. The, 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 the comrades campaign hard. And the result is the result. I congratulate the Jamaica Labour Party on their victory. And I wish them well. Dr. Phillips says he's going to resign. Who do you think should be the next president? That's not for me to decide right now. Um, right now, we just 
trying to tell the comrades we are feeling the same hurt, and we promise them that we'll be back stronger.